All right, you know I got to ask about the quarterback. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Mo. Especially especially with everything going on. Come on now, Mo. Come on. Let's go. (laughs) I don't even know if I got to ask you a question, really. Like, just... What what are you doing? What are you doing if you're if you're Omar Khan? What they, are you doing? They said the meeting is set up, Mo. They said they called up Russ. <laughs> Russ done called him back. They they like an IG picks. You know how it is. Yeah. He like, yo, Russ, you look good in that workout. He's like, well, I'm following the Steelers now. Now they going to Be go hard. out for dinner. So, oh, it's only a mil five. All that, you know. There there's a lot to it, man. Because <laughs> you have your guy Kenny in house, right? The thing that I'll say about this, and I'm, I'm going to walk through if y'all give me a second yeah, yeah. to walk through this, man. We're here to listen. Um, and I, I'm, I'm open to opinions and all things when it comes down to this. Um, if you have your guy, why are you looking over his shoulder, especially at that position? Mm. Um, most, when it comes down to starters and backups in the NFL, yeah, right? It was times where I got injured mm-hmm. and I was out of a game. And we went to Buffalo one year in a big old snow game. Hey, the three okay. hundred on the ground, El Bell. Let's get it. Three, yeah. Man, you remember Come that? On, and I wasn't in that game. Mm-hmm. And of course, I feel the competitive pressure. I gotta get back quick. That was me. Okay, I gotta get back <laughs> quick. I gotta get back healthy. You know what happened when I got back healthy, most? I was the starter again. Mm-hmm. There was reports that Kenny was healthy at the latter yeah. part of the season and got healthy. And they chose to go with Mason. Never have I ever seen somebody be in that position and be called a starter. You got demoted is how right. that happens. The same similar thing happened to me in a sense. I, I somewhat did it to somebody else, okay, mm-hmm. to where their level of play at the time wasn't matching, and I was the continued starter for the rest of the year. Um, when it comes down to that position, you have to be very fragile about it because your guy – can't have a strong backup behind them. If it's true, and, and, and Jerry Dulac did say this, they are entertaining Russell Wilson. If you feel like your guy is the guy, you don't bring in a Russell Wilson for a backup position. Russell Wilson is a bona fide Super Bowl winner. Mm-hmm. He's a guy that's played in two, would have potentially won another one had it not been for the interception and the birth of Malcolm Butler, yeah. right? You don't do that type of thing. And then I look at Mason's situation. The thing that my, my opinion about how I feel about Kenny is this. And his two years as a starter in Pittsburgh, we have yet to see a game from him the way we've seen from Mason Rudolph in those last four or five weeks. And I know you'll say, well, he's got the comeback games and stuff like that. Yes, he does. But over the course of a game, has he commanded? Has he stayed in the pocket? Has he delivered? Has he had his wide receiver saying, man, I like him? You got one of his starting guys telling him, man, I like catching from Mason. We agree that's with the you. That's the issues that you're we, running we into. Agree with you. We, we've said yeah. that. Mason played. That's that's the best quarterback play we've seen over the last two yeah. years, what Mason did at the end of the season. Yeah. And, and that's where it becomes bothersome for me. The fact that they told Mason they want to do business with him, the fact that they're entertaining Russell, and Omar has to do that. Omar Khan has to entertain because – in the NFL, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. Ain't that and when it truth. comes down to, and, and when it comes down to that position, and, and, and uh, you know, in particular, I, I have to ask myself as somebody who's a fan, who's played there, and try to analyze that as much as I possibly can. Have we seen that out of Kenny? And the the true honest answer is possibly no. We're talking about completion percentages. Right. We're talking about when they challenge him to say. Dog, stop rolling out to the left. That screws your offensive line. And then he gets in games and do those things again. Now, here's the other side of that, too, is Mason's standpoint. Mason's situation to me is this. Mason stayed around long enough to get good, better at his game. A lot of people aren't giving that grace either. As far as saying, man, this dude was a backup, and now he's showing promise and signs. Right. You know who else was capable? I mean, who was uh, recently done that, too? That's Geno Smith. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to be that? somewhat lucky yeah. to stick around. And I'll say this, too. I think we microwave these prospects a little bit too soon, too quick also, as far as expecting them to be great. Um, and Ken, and Mason was given that grace. And right now, Kenny's under the fire because he's had that performance by, by uh, Mason, and then you got Russ conversation happening. 
if I'm Kenny, I'll be honest with you. I'll be a little livid behind this because you told me I was the guy. It's a situation where don't yeah. believe what they say, yeah. believe what they do. <laughs> with the actions talking I'm about, bro. With the actions talking about, bro. Yeah. You What's said I was like, the guy. I, why you want to go to lunch with that then? Why, why you want to talk to that? Yeah. Imagine, imagine if that was the case with with one of your teammates talking about, man, I got a man girl, but then I'm going to get like you, <laughs> ah, you, you yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Limit you, Peppa Lou. Hey, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that don't make sense to people that tell me they're committed, and that's where to me it becomes very problematic and sticky for Kenny. If I'm Kenny, at some point. Because he can command it before it gets super bad, I'd probably be talking to my agent like, "Can we find a way out somewhere?" Nah, I like that. There, all right. Now, man, you why would you not? Though? I'm about to say, hey, 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 you got it spicy, mo. I, I'm, I, and look, I'm over here looking at the clock, like, bro, we got five minutes before my dog no, got to no, tap so, out. We got five. I'll, 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 I'll go with you your longer. Energy, though. I'll, <laughs> I'll go longer with you if you need me to, because the wife went and picked up the kids, and I thought I was gonna be on video. So, if oh, you want to roll, we can roll. Oh well, we, we, you know, we got time, and we, because we got plenty, we want to talk to you about, baby. Trust me, yeah. I just, okay. I, you know, I was trying to make sure, you know, I'm gonna be respectful for your time, baby. You know that, yeah. You know that the wife wanted to pick up the hey, oldest hey, note. I made a side, I made a father sacrifice. Hey, 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 dad to dad, respect, dad to dad, respect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I get that. All right, hey, so, 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 Dick, we got time. Then. Yeah. yeah, we got time. We got so, time. I love the breakdown there, but you got to answer the question if you're the GM, yeah. what are you doing? If I'm the GM, yeah, I'm searching again. Uh, if, if we look at Kenny's uh, com- com- completion percentage, if we look at his decision, like hello, Deke, it's me. Are you? Deke, wait, I got a question. Who, who, are you, who are you searching for? Though? Are you going? Uh, uh, is it I'm you? Completely can you see outside, me? or I'm searching, are you, you looking I'm a little familiar, like a Mason? Court. I'm looking at another. I, I say this Mason will be a strong option. You know why? Because he showed me what I want to see out of my quarterback. Yeah. Like Deke, I have to ask you this. Okay. Even after Canada, what that Bengals like game was nice. Course. That Bengals game was nice. You're right about that. It was. Where where else can you say that you believe he's your franchise quarterback? Well, I like as what he does. I like what he does in the fourth quarter when adversity's there, when things aren't looking the hottest or the game's close. He does rise to the occasion. He does have the game winning drives. I think he straight up played pretty damn good. Second half of 2022 in his rookie year after that bye week. I know we didn't ask him to I do saw- anything amazing, but I-, I thought he played good for all the situations we put him in. For all the situations that you put him in. Okay, when you see, when you saw Mason play versus him play, did you say, oh, that's... Oh, no, I agree. With, right no, there. listen, I agree with you 100%. Like, Mason yeah. was the better quarterback of the two. Like, Mason was the better quarterback for the team in 2023. Never thought okay, and, I would have said that going into the seat. Like it's it's crazy. Like it it completely and, shocked and, me how Mason played. So if you said that and you got Mason in your house, or at least you can get him at a value pick for what quarterbacks are being paid now, even if he's getting eight to twelve million a year, you still are under budget when it comes to spending at that prime position. So with that being the case, the option for you to either sign a veteran if Russ is going to take the million dollar salary like they said he was going to do. Or if you have a position where you're only paying Mason 8 to 12. That's a life you'll live right there considering the fact that, look, Kenny, you are under contract. We don't have to cut you. You belong to us. Yeah. So much so that we got a fifth-year option. And I go find me a quarterback until I figure out what's next. And then that's the thing, too. You, you, you mentioned, like, his fourth quarter stuff. But when you had to battle in a game like the Seahawks, do you trust – Kenny Pickett to make those types of plays in those types of games. And the other side of this is it becomes very unstable for your guys up front when it comes down to protection. Like there's a couple times, and even I criticized Mason about this one. Mason rolled one of the uh, few sacks that they gave up while he was playing. He rolled out to the left right into Dan Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Moore's uh, block. And I was thinking to myself, Mason can do that. The one thing about an offensive line and your wide receivers is this. They need to know where you're going to be at and are you going to be on time. Yeah. I don't know how many times we've seen Kenny be on time. And this ain't no indictment on Kenny or no bash Kenny hour for me. It is, man. I said this uh, on my pod that I do. I said I'm not into the feelings business or emotions. I think most we learn to work with playing with Coach Tomlin Take the for feelings him at and the, for hey, Kev. Leave the feelings at the door, bro. This business over we, here. We try yeah. to. 
we trying to win. Yeah. And my job depends on your play and winning mm-hmm. too. And you, if, if it's just like trying to get like government assistance or something, right? Yeah. You type in what you make and the computer decides. Mm-hmm. That's what the NFL is. And you can't be emotional about that type of stuff. I've had guys I've been really cool with that got cut. And most it conditions us to be like, okay, Seriously. Well, what's next? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's where I stand on that, that conversation. And do I think you need a world beater? No. Do I think you need somebody that can manage a game? Yes. And that's the word that a lot of people don't like using, game manager. Like, you do have to manage to gain those moments right there. And until we see Kenny consistently do that, it ain't me who's criticizing him. Like, it's Omar. It's Coach Tomlin. Yeah. It's his teammate saying out loud, I like playing with Mason. Like, that's the issue that you're running into. And, again, he has all rights as a pro now to control uh, uh, control Kenny Pickett LLC by telling his agent. Hey, start asking me if I can be released or go seek a trade. Mm. Like, that's the next phase right there. Get on the offensive. If this doesn't yeah. work out. <clears throat> and, and, most, and, and like I said, the reason I say the quarterback position is somewhat, I don't want to call it fragile, but you can't have two known starters on the team Mo, because the moment we the always starter say, messes up, mm-hmm. they want the backup. Mm-hmm. We said competition anywhere else is very different than – legitimate competition at quarterback because they are very fragile you can't have them dudes looking over their shoulders like how we could be over here and it's like hey mo this your series if you mess up though just know this captain to come over here and take your spot yeah. it can't be like that for the quarterbacks <laughs> yeah it, it cannot be like that for the quarterbacks and it seems weird but that's just how it is look around the league there are no strong backups as far as guys personalities yeah that's one of the conversations that cam newton had right mm-hmm. he said i can't be signed because they think i'm too strong of a personality there's truth in that so imagine bringing russell wilson inside of that locker room now you know there's also another name that was out there too yeah he he, he, he in chicago at the moment still justin fields how you feel about I, that one? I don't like that one because it comes with an automatic commitment. Mm, okay. It, okay. It has to come with that fifth year option and deal. And I don't know if you've seen enough out of Justin Fields to justify mm. signing him in those moments. I think he is he's been dogged out as far as um I think he's been dogged out as far as his coaches, as far as what Chicago's concerned. Zero uh, help as far as you still got me. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, yeah. Man, you, we know you just, we, we, we know you just the, that's the Bentley you in, or do you in the, or the, in the yours? Which which one you in right now, bro? Uh, I'm in a, I'm <laughs> out here. I'm in a lowly truck. My man got the color. Uh, he, he just popped to the color. And he said, "He said good afternoon, Ramon." <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> there you go. See, I ain't gonna talk about the gold Rolex I saw you have. On. Hey, hey, look, look, you you was caught. You were color coordinating your Rolex with your outfit for the day. I was like, "Oh, this is crazy." Deep. He had the powder blue on one day. He had the burnt nah. orange on. I'm like, "Bro, oh, wow. this is this is filthy, bro." Yeah, yeah. Hey. Don't don't let Moan <laughs> trick you now. Moan ain't like hey. these other people. Moan that oh. big paper, that long paper. Over there, hey, the bear I go. Oh, <laughs> see, there you go. I love it most. You know, I love that stuff. Uh, as, as it pertains to Justin, though, it'll be to me. I, I like him as a player. Uh, and I think again, he was in a situation in Chicago where it's just been a crap show. Yeah, there's been no stability. Um, and I think he's gone there and start to question himself. Uh, Chicago's just a messy situation to me, and I don't think you've seen enough out of him as far as his um, coaches go in order to give him a fair assessment. I know the same can be said about Matt Canada, too. Yeah, 